I am very excited to be sharing with you my first ever, this is a moment, can we all just like, oh, get, your, get your head out your phone a second and like listen to me. This is my first ever PR package. <laughs> Little tiny old me actually had a delivery of some PR this week and I'm very very excited and very very grateful and very very honoured to um, have been sent a little package, i just cover him up, um, by the lovely people at Sleek. So I'm very very thankful, thank you so much to, to everybody at Sleek. We do have a few more products in the bag but the one I'm going to be focusing on today is the iDivine Colour Carnage Palette. I believe this one is limited edition so let me talk you through everything that they've written for me on this press release so we have got outrageous color to mix match and clash for a limited time only i believe this is limited so um yeah so it says here go bold or go home with sleek's new limited edition color carnage eye divine palette we've got you back serving you the latest on trend shade in shades in sleek's renowned shadow formula all 12 tones are super blendable allowing for minimal fallout the graphic colours are clashing hues. No. The graphic colours and clashing hues bring the shade with full colour intensity in one stroke. Colour Carnage includes a mixture of six mattes, five metallic, and one popping duochrome in a daring mix of brights and neutrals, allowing you to create a more subtle beat or that bold AF look that won't quit. Um, right, so apparently it retails at $8.99, is available at Boots, Amazon, Look Fantastic, HQ Hair, Feel Unique, Pretty Little Thing, and ASOS. Um, so yeah, if you wanna see how it performed, whether um, everything they claim on this year press release is true, um, are they blendable? Do you get colour payoff in one stroke? Let's see, shall we? Let's keep watching. Right, so I've zoomed you in nice and close for this one so you can hopefully see everything that's going on. Obviously, I've done my brows. Obviously, I've just hit myself in the face. Why wouldn't I? Um, I've done my brows. I've got my um, primer base situation on, which is the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Illustrate, I believe. Um, so let's get going, shall we? I've got my drink. I've got me snack. Should we just crack and see on? Let's do that then. Oh, I just nearly dropped chocolate everywhere. I've also got tennis on in the background over there, so I'm very excited. If you know me well enough, you should know that I love tennis, but my year basically goes New Year, Call the Midwife, Easter, Wimbledon, X Factor, Christmas. That's just how my year goes in my head. So there we go. Tennis is on. We're nearly there. Um, right. Let's get into it, I'm so excited. Um, okay, so, let me think sensibly. It is date night tonight, and I'm getting ready to go to Paul's house. I think we're just staying in this evening. We've got a christening to go to tomorrow. My great niece is being christened, I'm very excited. Um, and also, we're going away next weekend for a long weekend. It's our annual land no trip, finally. Um, so, I'm not gonna be too extra. So, oh got some floof on my nose. Um, so I think, I think, I think I know what I want to do. I think. Right, so we've got the little plastic sheet and it's just got the shades numbered 1 to 12. So no shade names or anything. But why not just make them up as you go along? I mean, just, you know, there we go. Just make them up. So, as I said, we've got the 12 shades. I'm just going to take the little brush out. So we've got him. We've got the little jewel-ended sponge applicator now then do not throw these away these are perfect for your inner corner situation don't get rid of it just maybe lay them to one side um okay so we've got the 12 shades of christmas not really just the 12 shades there um i really love how these are put together actually i feel like if we're going the fours these four work really well together. These four, you could get a really funky situation going. And these four work well together. I'm very excited to dig into this. This is the duochrome, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna do swatches, purely because of one, time, and two, I'm not actually sure how helpful they are because I really think they're kind of, they're only helpful, I believe, if you're looking at somebody with exactly the same skin 
colour and tone as you because otherwise the shades are going to look totally different but also they're kind of not designed to just be packed on and wiped down your arms so I kind of will dig in and hold up and see what colours are going next to each other and kind of how the shades are working that way but I'm not going to swatch it if that's all right I'm sure somebody will have swatched them somewhere so after you finish this one go and have a look if you if you're that bothered um so yeah so I think I think what I'm gonna do is stick down this end and I'm thinking I'm gonna dip up here for a bit of a transition shade and sort of building up that crease work down this end then I think I'm going to come up this end for these lovely green colours. So we've got kind of the um, forest green almost there and then the shimmer version there. So I think I'm going to layer those two um, and see if we can get some really nice sort of deep green going on there really, which I like the sound of. And what I'm thinking is to use this blue as a bit of um, a lower lash line liner type stitch. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? I reckon we can pull that off. What do you think? I think we can do that. I think we're done. I think we're good. Um, so yeah, oh. Ooh, I just had an idea of maybe trying to use that as a bit of a liner. I don't know though. Let's see. Let's see how we get on. Let's see how we get on. So I'm just gonna start with the crease. So let's just get into that. Where's my brush? Right, I've got the windows open because it is too hot. In here, in front of these damn lights to close the window, I will be sweating, it will all come off, it won't look good, you won't get your money's worth, I know it's free but just go with me on that one. So if you can hear talking and general noisiness, just go with it, I've just got my windows open, there we go. Right, fluffy brush! Okay, so I'm going to start with this little beauty from the Revolution uh, Metallics collection and I think, um don't know if I want to use this one or this one. I don't know if I want to use this one or this one. Uh, mm, let's start with this one. It's a little bit warmer, I feel, which I feel works better in the crease. So, so let's pick him up. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, it looks like it's picking up a good amount on the brush. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, okay. Um, also, I'm fully aware I went in with the other one. Um, so let's just gloss on straight over that and make that one work, shall we? Let's. Um, right, okay. So I think colour payoff, we can definitely say, is happening. Yep, yeah, that's definitely pigmented. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm sure when I start blending that out, we're going to get... Oh my god, that has just laid exactly where I wanted it to go. <gasps> I leak that. If any of you are interested in whether there's fallout or not, there's none on my face so far. There was a little bit in the pan. I don't know if that means anything to you. I don't know if it means anything at all to do with the quality of the eyeshadow, but there we go. Um, I mean, I always do my eyeshadow first anyway, so I really don't care if there's fallout because I can just clean it up before I put my foundation on. Um, oh right, I like that one then. I might go over it actually with the warmer one and just see if that softens it up a little bit, but to be honest, I leak thought. Right, okay, let's do to the right. Right, let's see how we blend. So I'm gonna use my little Spectrum blending brush. Um, just see how he does. Ooh, so far so good. Okay, I'm loving that. That actually blends out really nicely. There's no kind of, you can't tell where I put the first dab into the crease at all. It's not like there's a big block of colour anywhere. Um, it diffuses really nicely, but I feel like without taking a lot of the, the pigment away. <gasps> right. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm actually quite happy with that. Um, I mean, if you look at it side by side, that has obviously got a lot. It's more dark than that side, but to be fair, 
we've diffused that out. Um, so hopefully they're buildable, and then obviously you can just go in with your own preference. Right, let's do you then. Okay, so I am really happy with how that's blended out. It is though, as I said in the beginning, a little bit cooler than what I wanted. And that's just my fault for using that shade because I did intend on using a different shade. So um, let's dip into the slightly warmer orangey brown there and we'll just stick that over the top and hope that works somehow. So I'm just gonna go in with the blending brush. So sure, let's do that then. Oh, I'm loving that. <gasps> See, that just blended. Look at the difference. That just blended right over the top. Not a problem. It's not muddying together. That's just looking. That's just done exactly what I wanted it to do. It's just warmed it up. Look at the difference. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, I want to put some more on it just for a little bit. Oh my god, look at her. Look at that. So good. <laughs> I really like it. I really like it. Like that, like that, like that. If you are new to my channel and you've never experienced the elixir before, then welcome and congratulations. Um, it tends to be my little um burst of excitement when I find something I really like. Um, I do say it in my everyday life, my children's lives are full of me going elixir whenever they do anything. So yeah, there you go. Congrats. I just love the difference that's made. I really love it. I've got to say, they're actually building up really nicely as well. Like, you know, when I'm going in with the second dab of, of the warmer colour, not only is it layering with the first colour we put down, but it's actually building up with itself really nicely as well. Okay, I fell, I fell, I fell, I fell probably. Um, right, I feel like that has really warmed the crease area up now. So let's move it along. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I think then I'm gonna go in with this kind of foresty dark jade almost. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on the lid and then I'm probably gonna put that all along the lid and then we'll go in with the shimmer and maybe put that just in the middle or we'll see what we're gonna do with this one. Um, but yeah, let's do that. Right, I'm gonna switch brushes because I need a different brush. Where's the brush? <gasps> Which brush? Shall I use to cheer? Um, shall I use you? What do we think? Okay, so I'm gonna use this one from the uh, Revolution collection. I think this was the, is this the champagne collection? It's potentially the champagne collection. But anyway, back to the matter in hand. Right, so I'm gonna go in with this JD foresty color. I've got to say, these are really packing a punch on the brushes. I'm like well impressed. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat that on the lid. Oh, look at him! Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not expecting that. Oh my god, look how dark it is. I love it. Elixir. Oh, I'm really happy the elixirs are coming back. Look at that, one dip has pretty much done my entire eyelid and it's really dark and I really love it. Oh my god! Okay. Right then, that was one dip has done the whole eyelid. And I really like it. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the blending brush and I'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that. So I just want to blend that join in the crease just very slightly. So I'm just gently... Just moving that in the socket. I'm very lucky that I have deep sockets. So this is super easy with me. I kind of just find where the dip is and just move it right to left. 
and that's that nicely diffused. Because it's only a stain in dinner, now. It ain't getting no cut crease out of me. I mean, okay. I save that for when we're going out, out. Right then, okay, that's just blended like a sodding dream. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go back over and I'm just gonna um, deepen up the lid color. Um, I mean, I'm just checking for any kind of patchiness and there really isn't any <laughs> at all. I can't believe one dip just did the entire eye. And I've diffused the edges of it and it's, there's no like patches or anything. There's a bit of light hitting it there. That's why I keep looking. Cause I'm like, is that a patch or is that just light? And there's a bit of light hitting it there. That's it. Okay. Right, let's go and deepen that up and then I'll do the other eye and then we'll talk shimmer. Okay. Oh, I just kicked my drink over. <laughs> okay, I am loving that so far. Once again, I mean, I've packed that on. I've been blending, I've been doing all sorts and there is still, I don't think any fallout. I don't know what that actually means. I don't know if that's good or not. I don't know, but there we go. I'm telling you the words. If that means anything to you, go and do what you want with it. Um, right, so I'm now then gonna go over that with this ear shimmery business, um, which looks the same shade, but shimmery, which I appreciate. Um, because novices like me have some sort of idea of where to start and what to pair with what. Um, so I'm just going to go over that and I think I'm just going to pop that sort of on the centre-ish. Um, and I'm going to try and do it with my finger. However, I do have my nails, so let's all just pray, shall we? Just, just pray, do whatever you do. Just, just, just let's, let's do this. Okay, so. Okay. Ooh, that's like a petrol. Oh my god, I love that. <gasps> See what I mean? Oh, I think so. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna. Oh my god, is this dual chrome? <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, the difference. Can you see? Can you see the difference? I mean, that one is a good look, but that one just, oh my God, that's like eyeshadow with a bit of an oomph, a lick that. <gasps> I can't see whether it's duochrome or not. So I'm gonna say it's not because surely I would be seeing it, <gasps> but that is a beautiful finish. <gasps> I've got no idea what lippy I'm gonna wear with this, but I really think so. Oh, look at you. I want to put another layer on, I want to put another layer on. I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. There's no rules. I can put two layers on if I want to. This is where though, I've got really textured eyelids. So I don't want it to go mental, which it's not doing to be fair. It's not really like clinging to all the, uh, I don't want to say wrinkles. Let's go with texture. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm actually loving that. I think that's my favorite. Oh, sleek. I love it. Have you seen the face I'm putting? I'm like, Ooh. it's like, Mascara face on steroids is that one in it though? Oh, trying to get it in the crease with your finger. I'm praying to the Lord and save you, Tommy Clark, right now. So please just go right. Oh, look at it! It's like I'm surprised at how it's going on because I just like it so much. Oh, okay, look, I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm doing my best. Okay, I'm totally besotted now. Totally besotted. <sighs> Where are my wipes? Right, let's wipe this mess off my finger. Oh, that's a good sign. There is no staining on my finger whatsoever. Just wipe straight off with a makeup wipe. So that's good. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have a celebratory piece of chocolate for that one. Okay, 
what do I need to do now? Okay, so I think I want to go and do the rest of my face and then come back and do your lash line and inner corner. I was thinking of putting the blue, this kind of bright blue underneath, but I just think I love that green so much. I think I want to carry that underneath and then use this, which looks like it's going to be a duochrome on the inner corners because I think that would really pop. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, wait there. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go and do the rest of my face. Then we'll come back, we'll do that and we will we will talk through this here palette. There we go, that's everything else on. Now I have been an idiot and put mascara on my bottom lashes, totally forgetting that I wanted to still put powder on my bottom lashes. So do you bear with. We're gonna attempt the bottom lash situation and then we're gonna go for the inner corner and then I will chat you through what I think of the palette. I am gonna change my battery first though, so just stay, just stay there. Okay, battery done. Hopefully I've got it somewhere near where you were previously. Right. So we're going to do lower lash line and I'm going to go in with the um, matte foresty green situation colour. I'm just going to put that sort of on the outer um, edge of the lower lash line really just to kind of bring that down and just bring that together a little bit. It does make a huge difference. I kind of look at it now and think, yeah, that's good. Um, but a little lower lash line and a little inner highlight goes a long way. Right. Let's get the correct brush for this job. Um, shall I use you? No. Shall I use? Yes. Ooh, let's have you. Right, so I'm just going to use this teeny tiny little situation from Real Techniques and I'm going to go in with this matte green. Just on the outer situation there. Going under the lashes because I've already put mascara on like an idiot. See, look at the difference. It's just dramatic. I just look thought. Please feel free to pull the face. Right, okay, so that's not gone all the way down my cheek and ruined my beautiful highlighter. Um, it's actually done all right around the mascara. It's not just wudged that everywhere, but just look at the difference. There is a difference. Might only be subtle, but it's there. Okay, let's do the other one. I'm really excited to get this inner corner thing going on because I think this is going to be a really cool duochrome, so bear with. <gasps> yep, I'm loving that. Okay, so, remember at the beginning we had this guy and I said don't throw him away because it'll come in really handy for the inner corner. Well, now we're gonna. So, let's just do a little swatch of this. Um, looks like a, just a white when it's in the pan, but then you kind of catch the light on it and you think, ooh, is there a bit of a pink shift going on there? So, let's just do a little finger swatch just to... Oh, just to see what we're dealing with there. Can you see the difference? <laughs> Look at that gorgeous pinky purple. And then it goes silvery white again. Gorgeous pinky purple. Oh, I love it. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. There's my little tissue. Oh, it's gonna go with my nails as well. Okay. Oh, I feel like Jackie Ann, I'm matching my nails with something going on with my makeup. Marvellous. Um, right, so let's use this one first and hopefully that'll give us the effect we want and then if not, we'll go and use a different brush. But for now... Okay. Okay, everybody ready? Okay. Oh my God, can you see it? <gasps> look at it! Ah, I love it! Oh my god, look at the colour of it! <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> I really love that. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna get to pause and he's gonna be like, oh, where are we going? <laughs> Let's 
Shall we see if it does anything else with a brush? <laughs> Any excuse to keep piling it on? Oh! Okay, let's try brush. They've got my teeny tiny little brush from, um, I think a Real Techniques one. I don't know, is that a little brighter, do you think? Is that like a little shinier? Or is it just because I've got 84 layers of it on now? Okay, that is incredible. That is actually incredible. I really love it. <gasps> Okay. 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 You did that. It just did that. It did that. It did that. Okay. Okay. Right, let's back it on up and we'll talk thoughts. Right, okay, so that has been the test of the new I Divine Colour Carnage palette from Sleek. I believe this is a limited edition one. Um can I just say though as well, although this has been sent to me in PR as a gift, um, I am under absolutely no obligation to talk about this, show it on my channel, show it on any of my social media. They've not asked me to say anything. I'm not being paid to say anything. This was literally just a gift from Sleek. Thank you so much to Sleek for just putting me on the list in the first place because my God, the amount of talent out there is ridiculous. So to be kind of seen as amongst that is uh is absolutely incredible for little old me okay so let's get down to the nitty gritty of the situation okay so um we've got the i love this as well because sleek's packaging you can only describe as sleek it's just so sleek and beautiful elixir um so we've got the sleek embossed in there as always with sleek products i just love them they're just beautiful um it is quite a small compact palette it does have um a mirror with it i won't turn it all the way around and blind you with the lights but it does have a mirror that's a the whole size of the lid it is a small palette but there are 12 pounds in there um so it's absolutely ideal for traveling i feel like with this palette you're going to be able to get neutral looks colorful looks um a little bit of a mix and match there's nothing i don't think majorly deep in there for darker complexions to use but obviously i am not the authority on that so i'm gonna leave that one there but yeah for me this works really really well um i would be able to get as i say a lot of neutral looks out of it as well with kind of this half of the palette um there are a few pops of color with the yellows the gold the greens the blue definitely i definitely want to try and find a way of using that blue so yeah i really really liked it um so thank you so much to sleek for sending that to me and for putting me on your list um i am honored to be a part of the sleek family for this month um so thank you so so much for being so generous and sending those little gifts out to me um thank you so much to you for watching if you have enjoyed go and give me a thumbs up down there make sure you are subscribed to lay the land um there is lots more to come i am definitely back now i've had a few weeks off um so yeah it's just really nice to be back in the saddle as twere um so make sure you've subscribed make sure you've given me a thumbs up down there make sure you can leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite part of the video was let me know if you have enjoyed this palette let me know what you think of this here look i will leave a, a list of all of the products i've used down in the description box i will also leave a link to where you can get this palette because i believe it's limited edition so i will leave a link to everywhere you can get this palette um if you should so wish um and yeah that's it really for this one sauce you can stick around for the next one if you want or you can go back and binge some of the old ones it's up to you really do what you want can't you it's free do what you want. Um, and I will see you next time. Please take care. Please remember I love you very, very much. I love you this much. All the way from here, all the way around the world and back to here again. Um, and just remember you're amazing and you can do absolutely anything you want to do as long as you put your mind to it and you keep going. Um, so yeah, have a great day, whatever it is you're doing, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. You and I till the end.